Okay, so we made it to Madera Canyon, about halfway up the mountain. We already saw three deer, but I guess they're saying that there's been a lot of bear activity, and so we got to kind of watch for bears. Anyway, we have our fourth grade pass, so he's in fifth grade next year, so we have till September 1st, but there's restrooms here, that's why we parked here. The breeze is nice. We're gonna do a little bit of hiking. We're gonna try and set Drew's hammock up. I brought my hatchet. And anyway, pick up your trash. But hopefully we'll have a fun experience. Okay, so this is new footage of the mountain. We have not been here. And this is a beautiful area. Go ahead, Zoe, walk through the bridge. Do not get too far ahead. Go ahead. Wee. Yeah, don't do that to your rope, son. That's how things get broken. Pick it up, all of it. Okay, Drew's gonna lock into his hammock. Is that other slip knot slipping? Ooh, that's kind of nice, huh? Good work, Drew. How's this rope? Is this rope gonna strain? I think we might need to like double this up. What do you think, Drew? Okay, so we found some shade. Here's Drew in his hammock. Okay, so we're teaching Zoe about the hatchet and she's interested in throwing it. She stuck it her first time. Okay, see if you can go till you stick it again. Whoa, if you miss like that again, you can't throw it because I don't want my axe to break. <laughs> I might have to put you back on the chopping duty. What are you doing over there, Nicole? Checking out the job, Ooh, almost. Here, hand them to me. If you're chopping, you need those. Whoa! Can I, I said hand them. Can I yes, you can, yeah. but not yet. Stop! I'm my blood circle! I'm my blood circle! Oh, blood circle, blood circle, blood circle. Okay. Blood spear, blood spear. <laughs> Wait, Paige. Wait. Nicole, are you watching? Yeah. Oh, go get it. Drew says, I just want to throw the axe, man. Okay, go ahead, Drew. Ooh, almost. No, that's a good tree to do it on. Um, okay, we'll try it, but listen. Wait, wait, hold on. There's a lot of rocks, I guess, that... <sighs> Watch out. Blood circle. Cole, where are you going? To Mexico. Okay, go ahead. I just stuck it into the bark. He thinks he's so cool because he can throw an axe into a tree. Alright, you ready, Drew? Yeah. Oh, oh you missed. Oh, I know, but it didn't stay. So you lost. You lost, bro. Nice throw. My turn. I'm chilling in my hammock right now, bro. Low key, bro. This is this is good, bro. Pretty nice. You got my bag there. You got Zoe missing all her extras and her hair that she never puts down. That's why she doesn't look cute. My dad thinks he's so cool. 
Yeah, you better not put this on YouTube. Why not? Joe, I can't see the tree. Okay. I don't want to hit you. Okay. Joe, I can't see the tree. Okay. Back up. Back up. You're in his blood circle. Okay. Okay. You ready, Drew? I've been ready for one minute, 22 seconds. Nope. Oh, you I'm missed again. I've been holding on to your phone for a while now. I know. This is taking too long. I'm going to have to edit this out. Let me lock in. What are you doing? Never mind. That's too nature you. Nice throw. You're gonna yeah, it's going to split in half and it's going to create um a volcano and then we're all going to explode. Giat. You like that? No, I do you not like it? that. Did you get that on video? Wow. Okay. Okay, here we go. Axe throwing experience. I'm a Derry Canyon. Where's my line, Drew? Scoot up. You gotta scoot. I'll show you where my line is. There you go. That was better. I think we need a stick for our line. What do you think? You almost had it. Okay, I'm just gonna video the tree now. See how it's. Ooh. Oh, Let me just. Let me just. You want to shave away some of that bark? So it'll stick better. Ooh, look at the pretty. Mountains. She said don't. Okay, so I decided to keep hiking up the trail. About another 20 minutes. Nicole's tapped out because she did like day at the gym. Anyway, um, I guess this area is closed for restoration for soil and wildlife protection. But the trail does keep going. This is just, just going to keep going up the mountain. So. Anyway, it's like 97 degrees when we got here. I'm not going to push it too hard, but I told him I'd hike up the trail 20 more minutes and then I'd come back. So, anyway, I think I'm going to turn back anyway. Hasn't quite been, hasn't quite been 20 minutes. I could keep going for another six if I wanted, but anyway, yeah, we're going to have to come do this again sometime. But, um, yeah, it was nice to get up Get up on the hill, I'll take you back a little bit. There is a place on the trail where you do get phone service and I wasn't getting phone service for a while but with my Google Fi, I was getting service just past that bench that they have. And so that's good to know if you ever need to make a call up here. Um, but yeah, so the service is kind of sketchy and spotty and Anyway, now the rest of the hike is going to be enjoyable because it's all downhill. And so, we'll see if we'll keep you here until I can see the bench. Let's see if I can get you that far. And anyway, um, they have a lot of little markers here, which is nice. They kind of tell you some of the wildlife, and so you have to come here and read that. But we're at about 4,000 feet elevation. And so you see your juniper, you see your pinon trees. This reminds me of Payson quite a bit. The Heber, where I'm from, the mountains is at about 6,400. So this is going to be a little bit hotter than Heber during the summertime. But yeah, it's not too bad with that breeze. But it was about 97 degrees coming up. And anyway, see if I can make it to that bench before we cut this off. And you'll just have to bear with me. I guess there's been bear, high bear activity up here, so I probably better get back close to my family in case a bear comes. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take Blake up here sometime, just me and him, or we're gonna have to do some hiking because 
he didn't quite make it this time. I was really hoping he would come and enjoy the hike with us. That's okay, we have a pass, we can be back sometime. But anyway, I'm gonna stop here because you get the idea, but they have some cabins there if you're older, you can stay in down there. Yeah, if you can see the road and the cabins, then you can probably get some phone service. Okay, so here's the bench I was talking to you about. And a nice little place to rest. I didn't rest long enough here. I was in a hurry to see the rest of the trail, but there's no shame to taking a little rest on a hike. Getting the right to my family already, so I'm getting close. There's a hawk over there. We saw three deer on the way up. Maybe we'll see some more on the way down. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and peaceful out here. Okay, so one more thing I gotta show you. As a kid, we grew up on a hill. And we used to do what they call boulder rolling. Pretty sure the trail isn't down there, but we used to do this for fun as kids instead of doing video games. And anyway, so just for old time's sake, I'm gonna do this little boulder. But when I was a teenager, I'd probably do, or I'd roll boulders. My <sighs> bring your gloves if you don't wanna mess your hands up. But as a kid, I'd roll boulders about twice that size, maybe three times with my friends. Just roll them down the mountain. That one didn't go very far because it was square. But yeah, that was something fun we did as kids, just to get off the media.